Hello everyone. Today I'd like to give a little update about what I've been receiving regarding the UK and the banking system and the um, potential leaders for the USA going forward. So I'll just get, get straight into my questions and I hope you enjoy what's been talked about today. So first of all, I wanted to ask is, will Rishi Sunak or Liz Truss be the next Prime Minister of the UK? And their answer to that was that neither will be the Prime Minister because essentially the UK political system is just a shell, a storyline to allow things to look normal to the public, whilst behind the scenes, the military operation continues. And I asked them, what does the military operation entail? And they said, behind the scenes, the white hat military are putting into place a new devolved framework and system and set of policies so that policy and decision making can be devolved to the people and moved away from hierarchical control. They said the leaders you see currently are placeholders. So whoever steps forward as Prime Minister of the UK will be a placeholder and hold no true political power in line with the UK legal framework. So then I asked, so who out of Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss are working for the White Hats? And they said that neither are working for the White Hats, but both are being controlled by the White Hats. Everything appears normal to the masses, but behind the scenes, massive changes are being set up and implemented. The whole banking system is going to move to a devolved system using the quantum financial system. And this is going to be with the introduction of cryptocurrencies and digital currencies and evolved systems to the public. Banks will no longer be required in the way we currently understand. We will pull money down directly onto our encrypted devices. The central bank digital currency is a front for the systems being set up by the white hats. The actual system in the future will not be centralized in the way the heading suggests. It will be centralized on the banking system called the quantum financial system and the physical units will be known as that are known as banks currently will no longer be required so i said to them in effect it is the central banking digital currency not the central bank digital currency and they said exactly they said the words sound similar, but the concept is very different with a precise distinction in who is in control. The people are in control and the currency funds will be managed by the quantum financial system and Starlink. Starlink being the quantum computing system called blockchain. They wanted to remind you that Starlink is not the hub that you have in your front room. 
It is a system of connectivity, which will be aligning people directly with the systems of banking, voting, medicine, energy, education, and travel. Everything is going to run from the devolved end user back to the Starlink system. At this current time, countries are busy getting everyone registered onto the quantum system. In the first instance, the countries themselves had to sign in. And then the next phase was to get the citizens of each geographical location registered. Travel is being thwarted so that populations are essentially kept in one location so that the registration process can be completed. Initially, this will look draconian with tighter visa rules, transport delays, both internationally and within countries or borders. But this process is necessary so that the end system can work as a freedom of movement system longer term. Once a census of all the population is known, then restrictions on travel and movement will be lifted and the quantum system, Starlink, will be able to manage movements of people internationally. In essence, no borders will exist in the future regarding travel. Passporting in its current form and visas will no longer be necessary. All will be able to travel freely and easily. The new system will prevent trafficking and black money as money will be digital and registered on the blockchain. The control systems, which could include restrictions to movement, would only apply to criminals in the same way as we currently understand. But longer term, when rehabilitation is a possibility, then this system will allow criminals of a non-dangerous nature to be able to contribute positively to society as part of their rehabilitation. Ankle tags will effectively be no longer required. I asked them, will this new travel and passporting system require a quantum dot or a tattoo on the human body? And they said, in some cases, yes. For example, where there is a violent, dangerous criminal, this system may be used as an option. The quantum system has checks and balances and can only be used for the good of humanity. For example, allowing their sovereignty and free will, or the system will automatically shut itself down. The people control the power structures and movement of future social, economic, political decisions. They will decide on policy and not people. Then I wanted to ask about these large sums of money that Europe are currently asking people to have in their bank accounts at all times in order to be able to 
get longer term visas to travel. So it's something like €30,000 is now required at all times in, in your bank account in order for you to travel through Europe and have an extended visa of one year. So I wanted to know, are the large sums of money that are currently required to move through Europe, are they part of this new bigger setup? And they, and they said to me, no. They said that these systems where they're asking you for large sums of money in your account in order to have a visa, they're saying these systems are showing the people what they don't want. So, for example, we don't want visa restrictions and, and having to pay large amounts of money in order to get these visas. But again, that's just helping to wake people up. So I asked them, so with the new quantum system of passporting, won't everybody then rush to other parts of the world, which we currently deem as prosperous? And then by doing that, it will leave their current countries, which might be poor countries, empty of people. And they said, no, this won't happen because in the future, all nations will be abundant and prosperous in their own right. And once the quantum financial system and digital and physical monetary systems are completely operational, then all nations will be equal in terms of economic status. I asked them, Will Boris Johnson come back into the public arena with a political leadership position in the future? And they said to me that Boris Johnson is working for the White Hats. It is possible that he will return to the world stage in the near future to help to bring in the new quantum systems, the quantum systems that will align the UK to the rest of the world. And I said to them, so has Johnson been a placeholder during his time as UK Prime Minister, effectively working alongside the White Hats? And they said yes. I then wanted to know, is a universal basic income going to be introduced in the UK or other parts of the world to help with the inflation and rising costs of living? They said yes and no. They said whilst the quantum system is being set up in the background, the poorest and most vulnerable people will be assisted with various projects to help them until the new system goes live for the masses. I said, what will this new system look like when it goes live? Is it a financial system? They said that the new system is the Starlink system, which will enable humanity to be more abundant in all aspects of their lives. And I asked them, what, if any, are the delays to this new system coming to the fore in a prominent way right now? It is being gradually introduced to test its functionality as banking is moved off grid and closed down. And I said, how long is this likely to take with the current testing outcomes? They said that this is going to be ongoing for many years. Eventually, a slow process will be able to roll out more quickly as its capabilities are tested and understood. And I asked them capabilities. And they said, yes, it's safety capabilities. They said all new products go through a testing phase. 
They also said that the military are the guardians of the Starlink. And I said, does this equate to military law if we've got the military being guardians? And they said, not exact. They said, not exactly. They said, operating military law over us, over citizens and countries, is different to guardianship of the Starlink connectivity structure. They said the first one is a process of control. So military law is a process of control, as in looking after countries during times of upheaval and government collapse. And the other one, the guardianship, is a process of freedoms. They said the guardianship of Starlink by the military alliance and alliance is a process for freedoms and expansion. Whereas military law in countries or at borders is about holding things steady to prevent civil unrest and social breakdown. They said the world is currently under military law. And I said, is this because it needs to hold things steady? Or is it because the military are guardians of the Starlink? And they said both. And I said, why do the military need to keep things steady through military law, albeit a covert operation? I said, this suggests that the leaders in real terms do not hold authority or power in their respective geographical locations. And they said, exactly. They said, the leaders that you see are to the greater extent just placeholders. The military are holding things steady, albeit covertly, whilst the white hat plan is initiated and whilst the Starlink is being tested and factions of banking are loaded onto it. I then went on to ask again, is a woman going to lead America in the future? They said yes, but not in the way that everyone currently understands. They said that the whole political setup is changing from the inside out, but a female will be the guardian for America, the USA, and the geographical location known as the West on the worldwide map going forward. They said the world will be divided up into regions of North, East, South, and West in the future, and commanders in chief or guardians will oversee the operation and functionality of these regions. I asked them, are the names of these guardians currently known to us? And they said that in some cases, yes, they are known to us. And I said, can you tell me who they are? And they said, denied. And I said to them, when you say denied, is this because it is secured by military intelligence? And they said, exactly. So I hope you've really enjoyed that little update today about the new quantum travel system, the new military guardians, the future of banking and the USA guardians of the Starlink. And I hope to see you next time.